Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll and today I come to you with the Garbage Hand Doll Head and we're going to paint her lips tonight, get those painted. So what do I have on my plate? I have some um, my white trim clad and I'm going to take a little bit of it and put it off to the side over here. I'm just going to mix up my white. Now I'm going to put a little my red in there. Now yeah it's going to mute it a bit but we're going to keep, make sure we add enough red to get our red back. Why am I putting a little bit of my trim clad in here? Well, my red artist paint is um, not shiny. And to match her shininess, her lips, if I don't do this, her lips will turn out to be a little bit on the uh, matted side. And you can really see that when when you, um, <laughs> gee, when you paint. <laughs> gee. Okay, so the best thing for me to do is, is put a little bit of my uh, shiny paint in there. Okay, so we, that's what we're doing. Okay, so that now we got that all under control there. Okay. And, yeah, it does mute it, but the only thing is is that her lips will turn out shinier. I learned that a while ago. It's like, why do my lips look so um, uh, matted? And that was why, because it didn't have the, the shine. Artist paint doesn't have that shine. At least mine doesn't. The shine that it was supposed to have. So now I like doing my, my lips upside with the head upside down for some reason. It just works for me at times. I go back and forth. So we're going to get these lips done now. I don't know how much you can see. Maybe I should have the camera more up. Get that out of the way. Okay, maybe you can see more direct as to what I am doing here. If that helps you out. And actually, I want my other pair of glasses on, too. Let's magnify those lips. Okay. This is called concentration for sure. <laughs> okay. Check in the back of her head. Ever since I did what I did there, now I'm really oh, watching what I do. There's our bottom lip, and I might still fine-tune that as we move along. Okay, let's get this upper lip done. This is why you don't want to put the teeth in right away, because you'll probably paint them red. And... Um,
The eyebrows can be put on while the doll is on the body. I've done that many times too. Or I've done, I've done them out, you know, but... Um, One thing about oil paint, it doesn't dry out for a long time, so you not, don't have to hurry. There's no rush. Starting to form the top lip here. I know you're not going to see this part here, but can't do too much about it right at this point. Trying to find that. Nope, it's off centered. Darn, darn, da, darn, darn, darn. Mmm, it's not centered. Um, you can't have it uncentered. So what do you do? Which is great that you're here to see this. Okay, we're gonna clean it up. Ooh, that was terrible. I need some clean. Um, let's just get some in a cap here. I have to take it oh, I don't believe I have to take it all off. just just the formation of it there we go okay that's all I have to do just I took off the um, the bumps okay so my bumps have to my lip bumps I call them that's what I call them my lip bumps you know the perchiness of the lips is has to be centered with this little there's a name for this here probably one of you guys could look it up and find, tell me what it is but um, to get that. There. Right there. A little bit more centered. I'm still off. Rrr. That just is not working for me. Goodness, my, I'm just gonna, I'm almost there. I almost have it. I'm almost there. That's the the hard part about it. I'm, I'm so close. I'm. Oh shoot. Oh, ta, ta. I, I did it right there, so I don't want the hair now. To the head. That was stupid. Okay, there we go. All right. Do it one more time. It. You know what? Lips take me about three, four times to do. Just letting you know. It's a three, four time, three, three or four times before I finally nail it. Okay, there we go. Try it again. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. Maybe this will help me out more. Okay, let's do it, Tammy. Got some red there I don't like. Ooh, ooh, not there. Yeah, get that cleaned up a bit. A little bit of a red mustache. Okay, let's start again.
Well, that's a lot better. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty good. Okay, there we go. Well, that took a little bit of doings. <laughs> Three times. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, yeah. Now I'll go up in here. Maybe just come up a little bit more in her lip here. There we go. Where am I going? Where am I heading off to? Now when you do a little, little mistake like that, that's what these wonderful things are great for. Great for just getting in there when you put a little streak and you just clean it up. There we go. And then you can come in and clean it up again with your brush. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess out of this. There we go. It worked. It did it. There we go. All right. Happy with that. There we go. I hope you're liking what you're seeing there. All right. So we got the lips on her and we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Wonderful stuff. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now we're going to talk about another thing that happened with her here. Um, let's get rid of some of this here. Um, before I put her um, back I'm going to need some uh, clean, i got to get a can here, maybe i got a jar, a little jar sitting over here, Ooh, a little smucky jar, and we'll put some of this, we'll wipe it off first, I always try to wipe my brushes off as much as I can, there we go, i got, I got to go out to um, Michael's to buy some more uh, of this wonderful stuff here, because I'm on my last container, and that's not good. So, <laughs> yeah, it's surprising how all of a sudden you go through a lot of it. I got about a quarter of a tank left. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Yeah, just let that sit for a few minutes. Oh, I got these little babies. I got to get out of the way. Okay, I'll we'll just put that there for just now. Um, okay, what happened here? When I was fixing her eyes, I took them out one more time. I was going to do it on camera, but what I figured what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a half a head and show how to do the um, eyes again. I had this half head that I, I thought I saved it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it was at the time when I was fixing it, it was in the half head stage. And um, I fixed it and put it together. And that could be been what happened there. Anyways, I am going to find a half a head of a doll. And what I mean by half a head is it's the eye part. These heads are put together from back to front. So I want the front of the front of the face. So I can show you how to put the eyes for those that want to see it again. Okay. Um, what happened though? When I went to take the I noticed that I had put some, a little bit of paint up in the color part of the eye. And when I did that, I went, oh my goodness, what have I done? And so anyways, I thought about um, just taking a little bit of... Um, I don't know if I want to say aspartame. Isn't that awful? Acetone. Oh, jeez. I don't know why I want to say aspartame. It's not anything to do with this. Acetone. And I went up there and I started to take, um, maybe that would help take some of that paint off, even though it was oil paint. Um, my daughter just used a little bit of acetone on something, even though it was oil paint, and it did remove it. Um, I, I, on plastic. So I thought, well, maybe it'll do it on the tin eyes, because these are tin eyes. And what I did was I start taking off the eye itself. And I went, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So I backed off and I had a little white mark there. What happened, even if you have scratched eyes, um, doing stupid stuff like I just did, or you find it in that, that way, what do you do to fix it? Well, there's these things called alcohol markers. They're wonderful. Now, you're never going to use all the colors because, you, uh, so far I haven't. There's certain colors that you're just going to use. 
And that's going to be to the color of the eye. I used my green and my black. That's what I used in here. They're they're sharpies and they're out, but they're um, lined with their 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 alcohol in them. Uh, oh, gee, Tammy, look at that. Good thing we opened that up. Um, there's alcohol in them. Per they're permanent markers, but they're not. They're ultra fine point as well, but they're alcohol um, in them. I want you to know that. There is alcohol in them. Why is it not saying it? Maybe it doesn't say it right on here. On the package it did. And um, anyways, um, they're really great on tin eyes. So I colored it in. And you, you can see it if you really look. You can see it. Um, but it looks pretty good. It matched up. I didn't think that green was going to match up too well, but I mixed it with the black a bit. And it was on this eye here. It's a little mucked, mucked up, but it worked. And I think I can live with her with that anyways. I did color the blacks of her eyes back in again, and we're looking really great. Those are some things that you can fix um, by using little tricks of the trade. Um, never be without your, your, your tools. Your tools are everything when you're in this. Um, I have permanent, I have uh, cloth, uh, markers that you can use on, on cloth, as you have seen. I painted that little blue dog. Um, from my family, the, the family dolls. Um, these are alcohol markers that are great on tin eyes when you muck, do, do stuff like I do or you find them that way. It'd be better if I had found it that way and then I can blame the previous people. But it was me who did it this time, but that's okay. Um, you know, I, I muck and I do make mistakes, but um, it still doesn't take away from her beauty. So her lips look beautiful though. I just love her lips. Her lips are nice. They're, they're the right fullness that I was looking for on her. So that's great. Now what I need to do is glue in her teeth and her um, her teeth and her her tongue or the back of her mouth of the felt. That will be my next thing to do. So I hope you stay tuned for the next thing of seeing that being put in. And I could do that now, put it in actually in the next few minutes now that she has got her lips done. So because I can get my hand up there really well without touching the, her lips at all. So let's get that done. I'll be back with the next video. Bye bye. And thank you for joining me on this. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen there. If you could see it, I hope you could. So anyways, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.